Hey guys, happy Monday. Well, it'll be Tuesday by the time you're watching this because I'm recording this Monday evening, but we are about to get into these weekly pick a card. So if you're watching this on YouTube, take a moment to choose between one, two, and three. Um and or just choose a number, whichever the num the first number you see, feel, wherever you're pulled, pick that. So I hope that y'all had a good weekend. I hope that y'all had a good Monday. I rested all day. And that's what I do most Mondays. Take my time, take it really easy, really honor the fact that the Mondays are ruled by the moon. <clears throat> Rest and nourish myself, um, really mother myself, and take time to set my intentions for the week. So I hope you guys were able to do the same. And if not, it's never too late to set intentions for the week. That's how you really, you know, are able to get into the space of making things happen the way you desire them to. So by writing things down, making plans, setting goals, and all of those wonderful things. So we are going to go ahead and get started on these pick cards. And we're going to start with the one, and I'll be back shortly. So we have Pile 1 here. I already shuffled these cards yesterday. They've just been sitting on my table here waiting for me to do this reading for you guys. So we are going to get started. I'm doing this weekly reading a little bit different. I'm pulling cards for the beginning of the week, middle of the week, end of the week. So let's see. So overall... Basically, your theme of the week, you're walking, moving on from emotions, feelings, relationships that no longer serve you, and just moving into something that is feeling more authentic for you. Eight of Cups, something that you feel comfortable in being yourself, letting go of old karmic ties, old karmic patterns and emotion and really, you know, taking the time to reignite your emotional body, really get into a new space of feeling about yourself, about your life, about the people in your life, about what's going on in your life. And but you have a few challenges when it comes to this is the temperance card and almost trusting that you're making the right decision um it's almost like you need to kind of get your intellect in align with these new feelings that you're moving into kind of connect that mind body soul triad and really just moving in faith is really what's going to be necessary in serving you and moving through that and knowing that you're taking the right steps that you need to be taking, that you're making the right moves that you need to be making in order to really feel fulfilled, really feel like you can be yourself. Okay, so overall, you are learning how to um, get to six of wands, this, this is like your cosmic lesson, your spiritual lesson, and you are finding your ability to succeed in what it is that you want, how it is that you want it, and, you know, really appreciating where it is that you're going, where it is that you've been, what it is that you're doing and have to do in order to get to the next step, you know, and also just recognizing where it is you kind of have been operating from this space of ego in a sense and not thinking of others like being very self-centered and also you know that not that that's not an authentic place but it's not a sustainable place of 
connecting, of being, of going. So you are learning truly how to succeed in your life, you know, from this soul level. So at the beginning of the week today, you probably, possibly you were feeling very just to yourself in a sense at the Monday for the four pinnacles. Possibly you were um, also feeling very secure, but also not wanting to be bothered with anyone, kind of wanting to be with yourself and hold your cards closely before you begin to dish them out in a sense you know, really taking stock of what it is that you have and what more of that you desire in your life for yourself. Move these cards over so you can see them. Yeah, more of, you know, where it is you're going and uh, kind of reestablishing and reigniting your personal values and in getting more comfortable, I should say, or having the courage to get into them so that you can embody them. And you may have also been feeling this space of feeling very secure in a sense and safe in what it is that you have, who it is that you are and how it is that you've gotten there. So you're waiting, you know, this is Tuesday, you got the three of wands, you're waiting for things to start coming in for you, for the efforts that you have placed, that um, all the things that you have been inspired to and the action you have taken for that to produce the results, to bring back the fruit of what it is that you have been working towards, that you have been moving in, putting in the action towards. Let's see, the middle of the week on Wednesday, you may find yourself wanting to spend some time alone, maybe needing to get back into the space of um, connecting to your own wisdom, right? And this comes out under the temperance card, the challenge card, right? So you are going within to see recognize where it is that you're lacking this faith why is it that you're lacking this faith and how can you better um align with this and trust where it is that you're going your path you know and just taking some time to really contemplate on what it is that is needing to be let go of so it is that you can succeed throughout the week throughout your life and on Thursday you're learning these things you know it's like this wisdom comes in through something that you gather getting some information you may be focused on um, traditions and what rules it is that you want to align your life to you know after this time on Wednesday of uh, kind of taking time for yourself so that you can uh, kind of rebirth how it is that you have believed things to be you are now in this space of like okay this is what I value this is what I want am I there what do I need to learn something in order to get there is there a teacher that can help me or maybe I can share this knowledge with somebody else you know maybe there is something there that maybe there's something here that can be offered to another in a sense this can also be you moving beyond outdated outdated values outdated traditions that uh, have no longer been working for you this is not mean necessarily traditions that um this can be traditions that you had uh, gathered on your own in a sense thinking that this was going to work for you and now you're like okay this will work better you know is, is some changes about to happen and this is coming towards the end of the week then 
right? Because on Friday, you have the Ace of Swords, so you're going to be seeing things your perspective has changed by this like you have walked away from these old feelings and you are seeing things with new clarity new eyes a new perspective you know a new insight on life and really being able to communicate yourself differently more confidently more sure of yourself and feeling very uh what's the word like you've made it in a new chapter in your mind in how it is that you have been believing things to be it's no longer it's something totally new you know things have come full circle and have and are serving you in a totally different way now like you have now made your mind your ally it's no longer working against you so come the weekend, you're going to be receiving some messages, some insight, whether this is from spirit, whether this is from um, other people, maybe somebody might be contacting you. And at the same time, things might start moving quickly. This, this three of wands here that you were in this space of waiting on, on Tuesday, it's like all of a sudden things are starting to come into play where it's happening. Like you, these efforts that you have put in, um, you're, it's like you're diving into this, this six of wands energy, right? So it's like Tuesday, you had this three of wands and then your spiritual soul lesson here is this six of wands achievement, congratulatory energy, maybe just congratulating yourself. You are moving into this space, you know, and on Sunday you have the justice card. So this is a 11. You are walking through a new door. You are recognizing how these new actions, this new state of mind that you have come to what it's offering you that's coming in you are recognizing and seeing how <clears throat> one second you're recognizing and seeing how choosing to do the work to change your mind to leave the old emotions behind to be more true to yourself how that's paying off how that's bringing more harmony more balance more peace into your life you know you're feeling a sense of accomplishment really by the time this week ends it's it, it progresses um it, it it's, it's definitely a progression you know you start off here keeping your your cards very close like all right I, this is what i want to have or these are the things i have what do i need to do in order to make that happen and it's almost like you begin to align more so to your values. Then you're like, all right, now I'm waiting. Here they come. I see them. I see it, but it's not here yet. So then in the middle of the week, it's like, okay, well, is there something else I need to do? Is there something else I'm not seeing? What else do I need to let go of? And you come, you get some type of insight, some, some type of, guidance or support that shows you a way that you know brings you into this new sense of perspective of seeing things clearly and the, the then it happens it happens very quickly you dive right into this you see she's jumping into the justice moving into this new space walking into this new door you know so let's see what the oracle has to say so priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? You know, this is what all this is, is guiding you to, where it is that you're being called to lead in your life, you know, in, in, in your life, really, what it is that you need to do to show up to be successful in that, how it is that you need to align to your own self in order to be able to do so right and this is the moon i feel a very feminine energy with this spread so if you're a guy this might be involved with a feminine 
or maybe you are feminine, but the moon, all cycles are ending. This is 737, so that's a 10-1. New beginnings, new cycles are beginning. You have gone through a, a completion and coming out on the other side with, you know, surety of yourself, confidence in yourself, the courage to move forward in really feel fulfilled in your life to really let go of all the baggage that has been carrying you and weighing you down and really being able to harvest what it is possibly you may have experienced something on this past on this new moon which was on the i think it was on friday either way and uh okay so on Wednesday, the sun goes into Scorpio, which can, um, I know I'm backtracking, but can speak to this hermit card here because Scorpio is about going within. It's about deep diving and seeing, you know, it's almost in the hermit is a Pluto card. Pluto is ruled by, um, Pluto is the ruler of Scorpio, I'm sorry. So, you know, you may be feeling very pulled to go within and, and really contemplate and see what else needs to be released. There may be some things you remember from the past that come up that give you some type of insight on where it is that you're going, how it is, and, and how it is has kind of been a block to you in some type of way you know how it that has stifled you and then you move into being able to see and recognize what how it is that you can move beyond these the stagnation this blockage um basically how, kind of how to speed things up in a sense oh wow and then you can see this this is scorpio all right so you are definitely coming to this space of coming out of old karmic cycles that you have kind of taken on from your family line, you know, coming out of these indebted spaces, this indebted karma, these illusions that you kind of been tied on and held on to for some time, you know, and gaining more clarity in why it is that you have been um, experiencing the things it is that you've been experiencing in your life, you know, how you've kind of taken things on as yours that are not yours. So group one, this week is all about rebirth for you. Really coming into, it, it feels, honestly, it feels very light you know, like the weight is being taken, you're releasing a lot of things, the weight is being taken off of you, by you, by your, your doing, by you choosing to show up and release the, the things that have kind of been weighing you down. This can also speak about um, your intimate relationships, whether this is with your spouse, with your children, with your friendships, like all these things are transforming in a way that is going to bring you to this space of being able to be in this priestess role, you know, being able to show up and stand in your personal authority and really have all of these experiences these relationships go in the way that you've always desired for them to go so group one i hope that this was helpful um if so let me know leave me a comment you know let me know if this resonated and all of those wonderful things and we will be moving on to how to okay Hey, group two. So we are going to get into your weekly spread. Let's see. Okay, so the the energy for this week in general just feels like it's 
lightening up for everybody just from group one but even group two you got the ten of wands for your overall energy so mm, so i'm feeling pulled in two directions so some are releasing burdens no longer ending old cycles of doing things the hard way but there are some of those who are still kind of trapped in this cycle of uh, carrying on to things, carrying on loads that no longer, that have really nothing to do with them, that are, that are not yours, basically. Um, the sun is going into Scorpio on Wednesday. On the 22nd, is that when it is? Oh no, that's Thursday. Okay, so yeah, the sun is going into Scorpio on Thursday. So we, you know, you may be coming to this space of going within and realizing that you have, you know, uh, been holding on to stuff, been, been carrying the load for others, making yourself responsible for things that are not yours or just taking on too much at one time that is making going through life a little bit harder than necessary. Now, there are some who are also, you know, almost to the peak or the end of all the work it is that they've been putting in. You know, you are about to start manifesting and seeing the efforts of seeing the results of your efforts this week so yeah so you need to really tap into your inspiration right because this is coming up in the challenge position so it's like you are maybe having a hard time listening to your intuition following you know connecting again building new relationships, uh, aligning with new emotional um, expression and embodiment within you, uh, really need to recognize this gift that is being given to you. Like, it's almost like you, you were having, you were being blessed to be able to let something go, but you were hesitant in the sense it's almost you know sometimes we do something for so long we continue to hold on to it out of not knowing where letting it go is going to take us this is what this feels like being here so yeah the lesson in wow so the lesson the spiritual lesson here you got the five of pinnacles and the five of pinnacles speaks about you know feeling impoverished but also feeling insecure within yourself out of just kind of not valuing yourself almost like you possibly you've been basing your self-worth and value off of what it is that you're doing and you are not your value does not equate to the things that you do you do not have to be doing a bunch of things. You do not have to be showing up for a bunch of people in order to, um, to be valuable, to be worthy, you know? Um, and perhaps also you may have been having some type of financial things going on and that's probably why you've been putting in a lot of work. Um, but it's time for you to tap into your receptivity it's time for you to let these things go so you can make space make room for yourself to be able to receive what it is you are actually worth you know we don't have to put in a lot of work in order to get what it is that we want we don't have to put in, we don't have to give away so much of ourselves in order for other people to value us. We have only been made to believe that all this time. And that is not the truth. It's not the case. So let's see. 
So today, so this is Monday, the beginning of the week. You may have been feeling like that you've been putting in a lot of work and you just kind of stagnant in a standstill, like very um, waiting on your harvest to come. Or perhaps you are um, fulfilling your harvest because you could be also coming out of this space, this hard time, this uh, non-appreciation of yourself, you know, but let's see what the next two say. Yeah. Okay. So the three of pentacles came out for Tuesday. So this came out under the 10 of wands. So this is feeling like you have maybe one, you've been putting in a lot of work, got a lot of pentacles here. So far, you have 12, 15 pinnacles. Let me see something. Fifteen is the number of the devil. Okay, so you have been really focused on trying to materialize something. Perhaps you have been working in a group effort, but this three of pinnacles also speaks about um, just having to continue to put in the work, like you, once you start something, you have to continue to do it. Like you can't come to this place of having succeeded and not, um, and think you can pause. Like that's not really how it goes. So on Tuesday, you may be like, okay, after experiencing this Monday of stagnation, like, all right, I got to continue to put in this work, you know, but it feels like that you need to feel, you need to change how it is that you're feeling about yourself because you may be extending yourself much more than it is that you really need to. Yeah. So Wednesday you have the lover's card. It's like, it's time for you to make a decision on what it is that you're really going to do. Um, and it's coming out under the ace of cups it's like you need to see yourself for who it is that you truly are you need to recognize that you are whole you know you recognize who it is that you are see yourself for who it is that you are you may be possibly learning or coming in contact with some information that's going to help you see your wholeness recognize your wholeness see yourself for both sides you know your yin and your yang bringing that together in in being able to really express that but it also feels like that you are needing to make a decision in in changing the way it is that you um choose to feel about things choose to more so feel about yourself let's see thursday the nine of cups so okay so on thursday after this wednesday of you know tapping into this making a decision you may be feeling more renewed in your passion in a sense um, and what it is that you're going to do, how you're going to go for it, forward with it and continuing in what it is that you have been doing from, from in a more inspired place, choosing to listen more to what it is that you actually need to be doing, like listening to that small voice in a sense. This can also be, one second. Okay, um, so you may be feeling yourself more confident in listening to your intuition and again, aligning with your passions. At the same time, if you are, mm -mm, okay, so yeah, you come to Wednesday, make this decision, recognize and see yourself. And it's like, okay, I need to trust myself a little bit more. I need to move forward on what it is that it is that what it is that I truly want to do. What is it that you truly want to do on Thursday? It's almost like you're like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And 
you know, this knight, he looks kind of sad, almost unsure in a sense, but he has this cup. He's holding the Ace of Cups. All right, so it's almost like come Thursday, you've learned that you need to see yourself differently. You need to respect yourself a little bit more. You need to love yourself a little bit more and also kind of stay away from people who are, who you, who give you this feeling of um, unworthiness un that you feel don't value you in a sense you know, and really trusting the divine guidance that you're given and what it is that you want to do. Yeah, because on Friday you have the strength card, so it's it's going to be important for you to have the courage to show up in in and move forward in this intuitive manner, you know, fulfilling your wishes, fulfilling your dreams, taking time to do what it is that you truly need to do. And, you know, you may already have been doing this. You may have just been doing it from a, a incorrect space within you. You know, you may have been occupying a space that had been pessimistic or, you know, just not seeing yourself as capable of being able to accomplish, but you can, you just need to continue forward in confidence and be sure of yourself and, and openly express yourself unabashedly, you know, be okay with who it is that you are, be comfortable in being seen, right? Because it's, when we go about doing things, right? So you've been holding on to other people's things, opinions of you, other people's thoughts, whatever, about whatever it is that you're doing, creating, and this has been keeping you from being able to really prosper, but come the end of the week, you come to this space of like, okay, I can do this, don't, like, don't back out, don't, don't coward out of what it is that you see for yourself you know know who it is that you are saturday right <laughs> so come saturday two of wands you have on saturday you're walking through the new door you know really taking the time to okay so on saturday you're going to you know, it's a good day to, if you need to revise your plans, it's a good day to do that. At the same time, it's a good day to walk through this new door. Um, it feels like that you will be walking through this new door after this week of just kind of recognizing and seeing yourself in a different light. You know, you are choosing to do the work from a much lighter perspective you've put down these all of these wands that you've been trying to carry up this mountain and instead taking a more easier route by by planning by um you know taking steps in a way that don't wear you out that you're not burdened by anything outside of yourself on sunday you have the five of swords. So this is, for some, this is you coming out of this conflictual state of um, these negative thoughts about yourself, feeling like that you have are in this space of competition with others. And on the other hand, if you choose to kind of take this route of backing out of not trusting yourself of not seeing yourself in a higher light not trusting the people around you you know or just moving away from the people that you do not trust then you may find yourself in the space of mental conflict um kind of feeling at war with other people but in reality with the five of swords this is more of a mental state it's your perception it's not really it's not that it's not real it's just that it's being created by you by kind of this sense of um 
feeling insecure with yourself, but with the way that this proceeds, it feels like that you're going to be coming out on the other side of, okay, I got this. Okay, I can do this. I am, I am good. I am great. I can do this. I can make this happen. I know that I have to change my mind in order for me to be able to really move in my flow and be able to accomplish what it is that I'm trying to accomplish. Let's see. Dance, yeah. Yeah. It, this week is all about you shifting your energy, taking the time to shift your energy. I really want to say that it's a good time to really make a plan if you don't have one, in a sense. Like, don't continue to do the work in a way that is exhausting you. It's time for you to really let go of the burdens. And I feel like on Thursday with this Knight of Cups energy, you're really going to be doing that when the sun goes into Scorpio. You know, you're going to be like, okay, I can't do this like this anymore. It's wearing me out. It's time for me to do something differently. The witness. So what is this? 64, 10, 1. So it's almost like you're needing to start over in a sense, not release what it is that you're doing, but um, having more faith, trusting your journey and the path and being a witness of how it is that things have played out in your life and why it is that they have played out in this way. And it's because of the frequency that you've been operating in, you know, you, we are really responsible for how it is that we manifest in our lives or don't manifest in our lives, right? And we are always the witness. We are always, we, we can, if we take a step back, we can always see how, where it is that we went the wrong way what it is that we did incorrectly in this week you are really going to be taking some time to do that and i feel like that's going to start on wednesday seventh house so you got the seventh house here so this is also about relationships all right you got this three of pentacles here this ten of wands that's all about other people and you got this five of swords here that's about conflict with other people all right, so it's like there is somebody around you who you don't feel comfortable being yourself with. And it's really time for you to kind of move out of that, move away. This is Libra energy. We're in Libra season and it's about to end. So when the moon, when the sun, excuse me, when the sun goes into Scorpio, it's like this shift is probably going to happen for you. Um when it comes to how it is that you have been feeling about yourself you really need to it's like a week of you finding or recognizing where it is that you've been blocking your own peace blocking your own blessing because the gift is there you just have to kind of look up look in front of you and, and grasp it you know this also makes the uh, it brings up the feeling that it is some relationship, maybe with an air sign, there may be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. It feels like more of a Libra or Gemini person that, you know, you just, that it's being really critical in a sense. Um, and it's like you're almost just kind of allowing it or maybe you are the Libra or the Gemini <laughs> and you're being critical of yourself. And you need to kind of recognize the type of relationship that you have built with yourself through this, this week so that you can come out of this five of pentacles. Because this is the lesson that you're learning. You're seeing how it has been 
where your impoverishment has come from, where your um, insecurity has come from, where this poverty consciousness has come from. Because poverty consciousness does not just equate to money, to material things. Like we could have a poverty consciousness in our relationships. And this have us dealing with people who really, who we see as not valuing us. You know, when our relationships are really just a reflection of how it is that we are either feeling about ourselves or what we think about the world or life or anything like that. And perhaps you need to um, connect with someone who is a Leo. They may come through on Friday and help you in this space, really help you move forward in a more confident way and, and be more in love with you, with yourself. You know, it's really time to do that. You have the, this, these, this full moon in this dance card and we just, well, it's a moon in general and we just had the new moon in Libra, you know, so you may be already witnessing, this may be something carrying over from this moon that you're, you're seeing. It's almost like these things are coming up even more strongly than they were before and you're ready to change this. And this is the week that this is gonna happen. It's, it's gonna begin. You're gonna be starting something new, operating from a new space within you and just really not taking, not taking anything from anybody who brings any kind of conflict in your life. You know, walking, really walking away from that Okay, so I'm actually going to pull some extra cards for you in some of these spaces. Because we're going to look at the Five of Pentacles, this Lover's card, and this Five of Swords. And this seven of pentacles. Ten pentacles. Ten pentacles. Yeah. So that is about um, really just accomplishing. You got the ten of pentacles on top of this five of pentacles. This is again devil energy. This is okay. This is about you <laughs> and how it is that you are viewing yourself. Okay, let's see. Seven of Pentacles. I really don't need to pull another one after that because that, that's what you're learning. You're learning to come into the space of truly valuing yourself so that you can accomplish this, you know, this this full fruition, this this um, financial abundance, this confidence, this value of yourself that you're desiring in several pinnacles. Yeah. So pausing your success, reaching your achievements, trying to really make something happen. You know, and it is like it is. But there is something, there's judgment. Yeah, so you're having a rebirth come the middle of the week. You are going to be, um, it's time for you to answer the call. What changes do you need to make? What, what needs to happen? What is it that you need to do for yourself? Only you know that. You know? That is a two. So you got the two of wands. The two of wands came out under the lover's card. So it's definitely going to, yeah, okay. So things are going to progress. You're going to be, once you begin to start acting on your own inspiration, your own dreams, on your own love of self, you will begin to start seeing 
that things, it, it's not that they're going to be coming to you, but you can see it in the distance. Like, okay, I need to continue doing this. I need to continue forward with the strength card. Power of Swords. Sunday. Power of Swords. Ten of Swords, yeah. Okay, so you're going to be coming out of this Five of Swords energy away, away from, from this really, you know, having had done the root work and coming out and really just metamorphosizing your mind and how you perceive things. But um, on Sunday, you know, you're going to be really taking time to really just rest to, to go within. And it's going to bring you what it is that you desire. You just, you're coming out of a space to coming to something new. And it's just going to take you being present. You know, it's so important that we are present with ourselves so that we can see what steps it is that we need to take, where it is that we are, and, and really recognize our value. Okay, group two, I hope that that was helpful for you. If so, let me know. And uh, we are off to power three. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, hey, power three. Hey, group three. So we're about to get into your week for the week of the 19th to the 25th, I believe. Yes. Okay, so group three. The overall energy you have is the magician. So you are basically learning to, you are, you this week you'll be using what it is that you have to get what you want, basically. You know, and really just um, manifesting through, through feeling, through, through the going, through just by acting on inspiration, through you know, alchemizing your energy into something much more useful, much more profitable, much more abundant. Um, you may be having a lot of communication through the spirit realm, or you may be connecting and communicating with those who can also help you even more so tap into this magician energy and be able to uh really utilize your manifesting efforts for what it is that they are because you already have them so your challenge challenge position is the emperor it, perhaps you may be feeling like you are not you don't feel comfortable in a sense that you don't have authority to do what it is you're doing to achieve what it is you're achieving right but you do or perhaps there's someone who is an aries around you who is kind of in your way in a sense um or just having some type of challenges with this person or what it is that you're trying to accomplish right perhaps you um Perhaps this is you and you, it's just you who is blocking yourself. Like I said, not being able to really tap into your own authority and not really feeling confident in your authority, moving forward and acting on in that trailblazing energy that Aries does so well. And that, that can block you from this magician energy because it's all about using what it is that you already have to make something greater but you first have to trust in yourself and know that that is possible you have to believe that you can do what it is that you're setting out to do that that you are you know really be in your confidence be courageous that you control what it is that is possible in your life so your cosmic lesson is the four swords. So this feels like that you're learning that you already have it within, right? Because the four swords speaks about rest, resting the mind. Okay, so it's almost like you need to get out of your head in order to really tap into your magician energy. Learning that you thinking too much about a thing is blocking 
your your co-creative abilities you know and being able to really manifest so monday the emperor's card so this is today um you may have been feeling very abundant um you know feeling very capable very nurturing very in the space of giving and receiving you know feeling very creative in what it is that you're operating in or where it is that you're going what you're doing you have a lot of major arcana here so it's almost like you're at this space of no return like you don't have any choice in a sense this isn't about a pattern this is about what you must do now you could have also um just been kind of insecure about what it is that you um or maybe there have there were some that were feeling insecure about what it is that they are doing, where it is they're going, what action steps need to be taken, you know, but in order to, this, this is about receptivity, calling things in through your energetic space, through your own capacity, the space it is that you hold within yourself, the space it is that you occupy in order um you know, it, the space that we occupy, it, it dictates what what is able to come into us, you know, and with this Four of Swords being a challenge, I mean, being this lesson, maybe perhaps you're learning that you, you can't, it's, this is not something that you can think about. You just have to do it. You have to trust it. You have to know that you are deserving of this, that you are worthy of these things. So Tuesday, yeah. Very abundant week for you, Pile 3. You got the Nine of Pentacles. So um, you may be having some resources coming in in whatever way, maybe accomplishing some things that you have been desiring, which you've been wanting to have. You know, you, you've done this on your own. You know, you literally used what you have to be able to manifest your life in feeling very independent, in a sense, very capable on Tuesday, Wednesday, the chariot, yeah, this is helping you move forward. You are now feeling much more confident and like you've come out of a cycle and being able to um, act in your will, you know, feeling very motivated to go forward and, you know, really be able to manifest what it is that you want, kind of have come out of this type of illusory space that has blocked you all this time of being able to bring in what it is that you want but the illusions are really a mind thing and with that cosmic lesson of the four of swords you know you it's like hey you've you've come out of your head and you're realizing like that's all i needed to do all this time Thursday, you got the Page of Cups. So on Thursday, you may be feeling inspired, moving into this new inspi inspiration, um, this new sense of self-awareness through accomplishing, you know, what it is that you have been able to accomplish this week at the beginning of the week, you know, and feeling more trusting in yourself, in in what it is that you feel to be true, you know, really trusting your ideas and your dreams and knowing that they were valid all this time. Um, and really now beginning to, to do that footwork necessary in order to create, in order to be able, in order to continue to create the ideas, you know, the, the fantastical ideas that you've been having all this time, you know, and really feeling emotionally sound within yourself. It's, it's, this is a new feeling that you're having, but, you know, just feeling very jovial, very joyful, very Jupiterian energy on a Thursday. This is um, the day that the sun 
goes into Scorpio. So you may be really seeing yourself much more clearly, much, much differently. You know, on Friday, you got the moon card. So you may be connecting with women. You may be having to make a choice about something, uh, about a particular way that you want to go about carrying out your ideas. You may be, um, these illusions that you've been under when it comes to what it is that you're capable of, you may be coming out of that as well. What is this, 28? 28 is 10. So this is something new, like you're in a new state of feeling, ending old cycles in a new, just in a new space, really. This may be something, maybe connecting with your mother at the end of the week, or just women in your family, maybe just connecting with your family in general, you know, and feeling just really in this space of innocence and um, seeing things much more clearly from here, right? Because this moon card is, is pointing at this page of pentacles. So it's like this new sense of innocence and self-awareness is supporting you in moving forward in this new decision of trusting, you know, of it's like Monday you were like, okay, I'm going to tap into my receptivity. I'm going to do what it is that I need to do in order to create. And then Wednesday, and then you, you get this manifestation from Tuesday. And then Wednesday, you're like, yeah, all right, I'm feeling good. And this is cultivating a new sense of innocence in you, a new state of self-awareness. And through that, you come into that space of receptivity, ending old cycles and cutting away with no longer seeing things in a unclear way. Oh, yeah, so on Saturday, you got the Ten of Cups, so just feeling very emotionally fulfilled, feeling very um, accomplished, connecting with people, connecting with your family, your loved ones, with friends who bring you joy, and really just, just almost like a new slate, in a sense, like ending old emotional cycles that had kept you in a space of kind of mental conflict, mental confusion, not feeling sure about yourself, this emperor energy, that challenge, like just be, be confident in yourself and know that when you show up in that, other people will see you in that as long as you see yourself in that, right? Because Sunday you have a fool. So things are, you're on a whole new journey this week. Things are really shifting for you in a very good way you know and it's just all about you um taking a moment taking the time to trust you know have faith know that where you're going you are supported you are continue to listen to your inner guidance system continue to connect with spirit connect with the women who are there to support you because you have you got a lot of support here <clears throat> even though you're doing this independent thing very something on your own you have people here supporting you if you need something just ask people will give it to you people will be there to help you happily without a doubt let's see you just have to get out your own way yeah so all of all of this progression throughout the week you're coming to this really unconditional space of loving yourself loving others seeing things from a much more higher perspective like very compassionate you know in this creating space and making room for you to be able to really um move forward on the divine plan that you kind of have always been desiring to move forward to and really um really making the plan and, and plan and seeding the intentions it is that you have been desiring to do so you know in in planning them so that you can begin to nurture them in that way they will grow into what it is you want them to grow into your laying foundations this week you are seeding the light you it's like you're coming out of this four of swords kind of hermit 
um, I just need a break energy into trust again. You're coming into trust again, coming out of the conflict. Wow. <laughs> so you got the serpent. The serpent is a 10. It's 46, but that's 10. That's a one, right? So this is something you got a lot of ones. You got the 10 of cups. You got this magician. You got this serpent. That's three, all right? That is, what's this? 28 that's another one that's four so four is the emperor card you know really come at you wow you are shedding that old skin you know really coming into this new space of embodying yourself embodying your energy you know and just having a lot more faith and a lot more trust in life, in yourself, in others that you connect with and, and you know, just really being able to cre create with these people, but create in a way that is unique to you. You know, it's like you no longer feel like you have to sacrifice your voice. You no longer feel like you have to sacrifice who it is that you are to be able to connect and thrive and feel fulfilled in anything in your life. You know, it's like you recognize like, okay, this has been my mental state all this time. And you're coming out of that and seeing that all you needed to do was get out of your own way. You, whole new you, all right? <laughs> Got the full card here at the end on Sunday. What's this? Mercury. So Mercury is in retrograde in Scorpio. A lot of Scorpio energy. Scorpio, the sun goes into Scorpio on Thursday. So, you know, this, this Scorpio, this Mercury retrograde is really helping you um, dive deep into the patterns, these mental constructs it is that you have built up and how it is that you've been seeing yourself, how it is that you've been perceiving others, how you've been projecting or, you know, how the things that you have learned throughout your life and how that has either served you or not, you know, and also even your health is getting better this week like your health is getting better you are getting into your routines you know finding much grounding um in your day-to-day -day life that is allowing you to be able to be motivated on a daily day-to-day -day basis you know and wow this feels this is a really feel good energy power three okay so Yes, pile three, group three. Um, things are really just coming to fruition for you. You are really coming into this new space of seeing yourself, um, really enjoying your relationships and the people that surround you, ending old cycles, coming out of this illusory state, you know, and really unearthing the things that have been really laden within you and um blocking you from being able to feel full and fulfilled in your life so pal three i hope that was helpful if so let me know and i will see you guys in a few days because i will be um offering another reading later on this week so group one group two group three if you're still here if you watch this whole video i hope that this was helpful for you i hope that you receive something that will be able to support you throughout this week and you know if you need anything hit me up you know if you just need somebody to talk to if you need somebody to uh let it out you know because sometimes we just need that and it's fine. I'm here to hold space. Even if I don't say as much as you want me to in response, no, it's because I'm just letting you get it out. So I hope you all have a wonderful week. And yeah, thank you for being here. And I will see you guys soon. Love you all. Have a, I said have a wonderful week. And I'm sending you many blessings. Okay. Bye.